Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking Up Love. Today I'm showing a quick look at how we break down the 20 pound packages of Costco's pork shoulder butt into four reasonable sizes for cooking at home. I'm not a butcher, so there may be a more correct way to do this, but I thought to share this with you because it can be a little overwhelming to figure out. The price per pound works out to about two and a half dollars, and each piece of meat will end up about eight to ten dollars. There are two shoulders in each package, and I'm going to separate each of them into two pieces for more reasonable sizes for cooking. You'll find like a definition of thinning in the thickness of the meat, so that there is one side that's very compact, like a roast, here on the left side, and another looser section on the right. I cut right up that line through the connective tissue to separate the two pieces. The pork shoulder cut is from the front shoulder of a pig, and the pork shoulder butt is the upper portion of the shoulder that's well marbled and has really great flavor. That combination of fat and connective tissue in a pork shoulder helps make it super moist after cooking low and slow over many hours. And then I'll trim off some of the extra fat on top of the right side. If you haven't seen our slow cooker pork recipes, click the link below or in the description to see how the meat literally falls apart on its own and can be easily pulled or shredded. It's amazing for pulled pork, carnitas, and tacos. And then just repeat these cuts on the second shoulder. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.